Business agility is the opposite of business rigidity. So the problem that we have is that for over 100 years, we've been normalized into thinking of businesses as a vertical structure, as a command and control structure. But these structures are non-adaptive. In a complex adaptive system, we need very flexible structures. And so business agility is all about transforming an organization from rigid command and control structures to very flexible adaptive structures and it changes everything. So in a traditionally, in terms of structure, the difference between an agile business and a traditional business is quite different. In a traditional business, the structure, the decision-making framework, how decisions about the organization are done, start at the top and filter down through the different divisions, through the managerial layer, down into the operational layer. This is a rigid command and control structure. In an agile business, the decisions are organic. It's difficult to be able to diagramize what an agile structure is like. If you can imagine looking into the microscope, into cells, that's much more what an agile structure looks like. And so the decisions are dynamic. They are coming from the environment. They are being worked on by the people in an organic form. They are sharing between the different organs of the of the, of the business, the word organization comes from the body, from the organs, so it's like sharing information. And so these structures are difficult for us to draw a picture of. It's much easier to imagine it as a living format. A hundred years ago, the business environment was like a river. And we could paddle our, our organization in a boat and it was very calm. And occasionally there'd be some rapids and we'd have to adjust for a bit of a market shock or a change or a new competitor. Along comes the technology revolution and now we're no longer in a nice calm river. We're starting to enter a lot of rapids and so we're gonna to have to adjust our canoe, our organization pretty quickly. We have to, to use intuition, we have to use our reflexes. Today, it's going faster and faster and faster. And so what's happening is exponential technologies are driving the environment that businesses and organizations exist in to change all the time. Yesterday's strategy doesn't make any sense for tomorrow's strategy. We live in a world of constant change, constant flux. And so the imperative of the organization is to adapt. So we go to biology. We come, we come to the idea that an organization, in order to live in its environment, must be able to, like an organism, must be able to adapt to the changing circumstances of that environment. And so what happens when we've got an environment which is changing a lot, the, the capacity of an organization to adapt to those changing circumstances becomes a matter of survival. So one of the big paradigm shifts that we talk about in, in business agility is the way that we interpret the world, the world view. So when we have a world view and the world is a machine, mechanistic, cogs, we are talking about linear processes. If I do A, I will get B. And that's the world from 100 years ago. But in this world, one of the best ways that we have, one of the best tools that we have to really envisage the world the way it really is, is the language of complexity science. And with complexity, it is a non-linear relationship. So A does not cause B. The variables are interconnected. If I change one part of the system, that's going to affect another part of the system. And so complexity mathematics or complex systems give us a lot of insight in the way organizations work. And by understanding some of the basics and some of the key concepts of complexity mathematics, we can much better understand the way an adaptive organization should function. In the old paradigm, change was seen as, as something you do in three steps. You unfreeze behavior, you change the behavior, and then you refreeze it. It doesn't make sense in a completely dynamic organization. Change is happening in situ all the time. 
the only constant is change. There's no such thing as unfreezing behavior. Behavior is in play, behavior is dynamic, thinking is dynamic, systems are dynamic the whole time. So how do you get an organization with, with rigid thinking to become dynamic? The key is in the influences in that organization, the go-to people, the people that other people look to. If we can change their mindsets, if we can help them become agile thinkers, if we can help them induce a paradigm shift, then that idea will spread throughout the organization and the organization will quite quickly become agile from top to bottom if you can get a critical number of people to change their mindsets.